Thursday night football, the Tennessee Titans are on the road taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. My two favorite picks are on the way. It's Austin from Colin Arshon. Let's dive into a recap of last week. Now, has not been the greatest start of the year through eight weeks. We have not done all too well. Last week, technically, it was three and six. Worth noting, Devontae Smith, we did cash his over five, six, and seven receptions. I only tracked that as one win towards the record because, you know, I don't really want to count the three times over. So he did. Technically, if you want to count, it's five and six, whatever. It was down 1.17 units. I'm putting the line in the sand. This is a profitable week. We have been long overdue. We've had some bad streaks and bad luck left and right. You've seen I've been dominating the NBA. I know we can do that for the NFL. And it starts with a 2-0 Thursday night football game. As always, let me know your favorite picks down below in the comments. Subscribe if you're new. Let's dive into our picks. Now, it is worth noting, there is another free square live on Sleeper for only new users that sign up using our code COS. It's for Derrick Henry to get one yard. Look. Henry's been up and down this season, but he's at one yard in every single game. So if you want to sign up for Sleeper, make sure you use our code COS or the link in the description. You get the, not only the Derrick Henry for one yard, but you also get a 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks. We'll also talk about how I'm using some uh, uh, my Sleeper entry later on in this video. It's only for new users, though, so I don't have the free square. But let's talk about this. My first pick It's going to be a two leg same game parlay, but there's an easy, easy, easy pivot here. It's Deontay Johnson. I like him for over four and a half receptions and 50 plus receiving yards minus 105 on bet365 for my people that are out on DraftKings, congrats it's minus 115 great there if you're on FanDuel, a little bit more juice at minus 130 at the end of the day i like deontay johnson to get at least five receptions and it kind of goes hand in hand with this 50 plus receiving yards now i do a ptsd from chris olave if you know you know we had him for five receptions and 40, uh, 50 yards he ended with five and 46 had a ball Doink, hit him in the head. It was just brutal. But I'm confident that, like, that's the bad luck we've had this season. I know the reads have been there. It's time to turn it into a profitable week, get a little bit of luck on our side. And, look, I really like Deontay in this matchup. Since his return, he obviously returned two weeks ago after getting injured, I believe, in week one. He's had five receptions for 79 yards and then eight receptions on 14 targets for 85 yards last week. So this is a guy that just the tar target hog. He's been that, you know, the past three years. This is a guy that gets a ton of targets. And this is not a guy you necessarily going, you know, 30 yards down the field asking for a deep pass to get yards it's normally you know those short intermediate throws which is i think where you want to attack this titans defense and we've talked about the titans before they struggle to defend opposing wide receivers heck through seven weeks the titans have allowed 12 wide receivers to have five or more receptions 11 of those guys also had 50 yards one of the guys that missed was elijah moore who only runs short routes basically behind the line of scrimmage he ended with 49 yards so you look at the end of the day this is a great matchup for this uh steelers wide receiver core and i'd rather back their number one guy in deontay i mean look at the list of wide receivers this is just over the past couple weeks you saw drake london at five for 55 last week say flowers six for 50 josh downs six for 97 his teammate michael pittman junior 5 for 52 the list goes on and on and on that's just a couple guys over the last you know four or five weeks we've seen guys like just, just like these wide receivers dominate and i expect deontay to be that guy now i also think pickens has a decent day but he's more of that down the field threat and i think the titans if they are going to try to limit something it's those down the field throws i think and the steelers game plan will likely be let's throw early and often this is the titans defensive line elite they don't allow a ton of rushing yards and a lot of rushing yards per attempt and this is dealers offense that honestly struggles to run the football so getting a, a ground the ground game going in a very tough matchup i find that very unlikely for the steelers i think they throw it a little bit more on first and second down try to pick up you know get to second and three and i think that's a lot of deontay johnson out routes or sitting him sitting in zones and stuff of that nature so deontay i really like him over four and a half receptions is the easy pivot but i don't want to really lay minus 150 juice i'll take him for 50 plus receiving yards if he gets five receptions and doesn't get 50 yards just know i'll be in pain watching the game my last note though kenny pickett's uh, completion line set at 20 and a half he hasn't hit that line in six straight games. They obviously expect him to throw a lot tonight. I like uh, Deontay five for 50. Now, my second play is going to be the same game parlay. A little bit tricky. This is a tricky game, in my opinion. This is a, a game with a two and a half point spread and the over-unders at 36 and a half. So you got to get a little bit creative to cash things. And this is what I really like. This is a really play that I really do like. Let's talk about Will Levis, the Tennessee Titans quarterback. Here's how I'm playing him. Over 0.5 interceptions and the Titans team total under 24 and a half minus 115 on DraftKings. Now, if you're on bet 365, we love them. You can take the Titans at 27 and a half. I do believe that their uh, their regular team total is like 16 and a half, 17 and a half. I don't hate that under, but I rather obviously pay for a little bit of a higher line here. And while I think Will Levis is really talented, I think this is going to be a tough spot for him. So I think he throws at least one interception, maybe two, and hopefully the Titans stay under that 24 and a half team total. Now, for FanDuel betters, they didn't have a uh, Will Levis interception line. I don't really know why, but it is a little bit juiced to like minus 140, minus 150, which is why I'm throwing Titans team total under here. And honestly, if you're on FanDuel, you want to take, you know, Will Levis interception and you want to parlay that with their under or uh, higher alt under, since you probably can't ladder the team total like this, I'm fine there. But let's talk Will Levis, though. Made his first career start 
The guy was terrific, 19 for 29, 238 yards, four touchdowns, and a 28 to 23 win at home versus Atlanta. Look, that was crazy. I tip my cap to Mr. Will Levis. He did that at home against Atlanta. Good luck doing against the Steelers defense on the road, his first true road start. I think the Steelers, Mike Tomlin, and this defensive unit will have some tricks up their sleeve to confuse Will Levis. He did throw some questionable passes in that last game. That could have been intercepted. The Falcons just did not pull one down. I think the Steelers get it done. And while Minka Fitzpatrick, I believe, is out, I'm still not too worried about it. I've seen tip passes. This is a Steelers line that loves to get their hands up, tip those balls. And for a rookie quarterback like Will Levis, I think he struggles a little bit tonight. And over the last six weeks, we've seen the Steelers. This is a team that has allowed 22, 18, 30, 10, 17, and 20 points. So they've gone under that 24 and a half points allowed in five of their last six. Also five the last six quarterbacks after that played them have at least thrown one interception a couple throwing two or three this is Steelers defense that is elite we know that the Steelers defense honestly has to carry them most weeks I think they force Will Levis into some tough spots and I think they get an interception off of him I don't know how it comes but it could come at the beginning of the game could come on a Hail Mary come at the end of the game I don't really know I don't really care I think Levis is really talented I just think this is a tough spot on the road taking on the Steelers just a tough defense I can get pressure with only four guys TJ Watt coming off the corner yeah, good luck with that. But you look at 15 of the last 20 quarterbacks to play at Pittsburgh, they threw an interception. Since 2021, opponents under this 24 and a half team total points, 17 of the last 21 games in Pittsburgh. As long as this uh, Pittsburgh offense doesn't screw the defense in terms of setting up turnovers, giving the Titans good field position, I think this is a great spot. You also look at the touchdown props. Derrick Henry is plus 145 to score a touchdown. Normally he's like minus 200, minus 150. He's plus 145. So the Bucs clearly do not expect a huge night out of the Titans offense. I think Will Levis struggles a little bit. I think if there's at least one interception, I would be very surprised if they score 25 plus points. Heck, they could win this game, but I don't see them winning it in a shootout. So that's my second play of the day. I really like it. Will Levis will throw an interception, just one. He could throw two, I don't care. And then the Titans team total under 24 and a half. It's the same game parlay on DraftKings minus 115. Like I said, this is a little bit of a sketchy game. However, let's talk about my sleeper entry. A reminder, you can sign up using our code COS to get 100% deposit match up to 100 bucks, and you get that Derrick Henry free square for one yard. Here's how I'm playing, trying to turn 25 bucks into 150 not too shabby deandre hopkins lower than 12.8 fantasy points i'll talk about that in one second deontay or deandre hopkins and you got deontay johnson you got will levis i've already talked about both those two Jalen warren i also like him for three receptions i think he gets that like i said i don't think they run the ball a ton i think they throw it i think we see some screen plays going to Jalen warren he's a really talented pass catcher i think he gets three he does that pretty consistently now the one like i really haven't talked about is deandre hopkins why am i taking his lower 12.8 fantasy points well i think it's pretty easy i've already talked about will levis i don't think he has a great game and and also, I think everyone that had DeAndre Hopkins sitting on their bench in fantasy last week saw that game, said, oh, Will Levis is the real deal. Let's throw him in the lineup. Yeah, no, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins is having a big night. And honestly, if he doesn't get a touchdown, it's going to be very hard for him to hit that over. So, look, I just don't think DeAndre Hopkins in this offense is in for a big day. I know the Steelers haven't been, you know, the best defense in terms of opposing wide receivers. But if there's any one guy to stop and double team, it's Hopkins and let anyone else do anything. And you'll be perfectly fine against this uh, Titans receiving core. So, those are my favorite plays of the day. As always, let me know your favorite picks. I know this down below. I know this is a weird game. I mean, there's a lot of sharp lines out there. I think we found two winners to go 2-0, and build up that bankroll. I think there's plenty of pivots that's out there for it. Maybe you can't take these same game parlays. You can take different things that can also cash out for you. But a reminder, if you want to go show me some love on the second channel, you certainly can. I'll link two videos up on the screen, plus our other videos that we post every single morning. It's Austin. I'm signing out. Let's have a great Thursday night football. Let's throw away the last eight weeks. We're dominating from here on out. We're having a profitable season. You have my word. It's Austin. I'm signing out. See you in the next one. Peace.